Hey guys, what's up? It's Fern. Thank you so much for joining me for another planty video. Actually, today's kind of a planty slash cozy slash vloggy video. We're working in the bedroom today and I'm excited about that because I haven't done a video focused on the bedroom in a while and I love making changes in here and just watching this room continue to evolve to be more planty and more relaxing and comforting and I love taking you along with me. So there's a few things that I've been wanting to do in here. One of them that I've been talking about is to install a new grow light. I have my aspect light that I have not yet put up. So I think that I'm finally going to be putting that up today. I'm not sure where. I thought I was gonna put it in that corner, but now I'm kind of thinking maybe I should put it where this mirror is. I'll have to think about that and decide. I think I'm gonna be bringing some more plants in here depending on how much I can increase the light. We also might be tackling some plant care later in the video because I think some of these plants are due for watering. Other than that, I'm just gonna be making some decor choices choices changes maybe hang up some art prints that i have and i am going to be changing out my bedding for my new spring set which i cannot wait to show you actually i haven't even seen it myself so i've been waiting for this video so that i can unbox it i am partnering with one of my favorite brands ever on this video which is brook linen i am obsessed with all of my brook linen bedding <laughs> i think you guys are really gonna like this set as well so let's start by yes hello Let's start by unboxing this and then I can throw it in the wash and I can kind of plan out what else I'm going to be doing in this room. Okay, so while our bedding has been in the wash, I've been kind of brainstorming what I want to do in the bedroom here. And I actually think that I'm going to ask my boyfriend if he wants to switch sides with me because I feel like what I'm envisioning for my side of the bed is just gonna work so much better being on this side where there's natural light and there's not the electrical box. So, We'll see what he says. I also made a little doodle of what I'm thinking where I want to put the Soltec light and then I kind of want to have a shelf a little bit lower and I can have plants on there and just create like a nice new little planty area. Um, I'll also insert some inspo photos of kind of what I'm going for for the bedroom. I think that the green bedding is going to look so good and I just kind of want it to be like planty and eclectic and fun. Um, this is the shelf that... I'm thinking about putting up it's just a plain black shelf and the light that i'm gonna put there is also black so i feel like it's a little bit too much black so i might paint that shelf or else just switch it it's just a cheap shelf i might just switch it out for um a different color as well like w i think they have like a white or like a wood probably the white i would do which would match this shelf so I'm just waiting for him to get home from work so that I can make that proposition that we switch sides of the bed. <laughs> I know before he really wanted to have the side, the side that he has closest to the window, but I think he might not care as much now. So we'll see. While we're waiting though, I think that I'm gonna see if any of these plants down here need any water, kind of do a little check-in on them. What do you think about switching our sides of the bed? What do I think about what? Switching our sides of the bed. Uh, why? Just because I there's more opportunity for me on the other side. More opportunity to what? To put my plants and stuff. Uh, we can try it for a while, I think. Okay. Sure. For perhaps the first time ever, my plants actually don't need to be watered. So that's great. And the bedding is done. So we're going to throw this on the bed. Oh, I cannot wait to see what it's going to look like. I don't know what I would call the style, like my interior design taste or style or what I'm really going for. But obviously, I love to bring nature inside. 
I also love when homes are just kind of, I don't know, they, they look lived in, they have character, I really like color. I kind of like maximalism in a way, like I, I love when there's a lot going on and there's just a lot of personality in a room. And I'm also very, very, very obsessed with green at the minute and kind of combining different shades and tones of the color green and just having like a monochromatic look that's just green. I feel like every plant person appreciates color green, like come on. But I'm just really in it right now. <laughs> That's why I'm so excited about this new bed set from Brooklinen because we are bringing the green to the bedding. This current bed set is also from Brooklinen and I love it, but it's kind of giving winter. So I'm really excited to just freshen this up a little and bring in the spring vibes. <laughs> Look, I even have my matcha to be on theme. Brooklinen is a luxury sheet company that creates high quality home goods to elevate your home. And they are the only bedding brand that I use ever since I first tried them a year ago. I am obsessed and I will not be going back. For me, it's so worth it to invest in high quality sheets and bedding because it's something that you're gonna be using for a long time. Brooklinen's amazing because they get softer with every single wash. They stay so nice and crisp and cool as well. One of my favorite things about Brooklinen is that they're always launching new seasonal colors. So when I saw these greens, you know I just had to get them. One of each, honestly. <laughs> I combined the three green shades because like I said, I'm really into that right now and I could not be happier with how it came out. It's like, are you kidding me? I always opt for the classic hardcore bundle with Brooklinen. Like I said, these are super cool and crisp. I just, I love the feel of them. They're perfect for hot sleepers, which is me, especially with two dogs and my partner in the bed. They're also so fun to shop for, especially if you're doing like a bedroom refresh because you can mix and match. There's over 20 colors and patterns to choose from and you get to pick out your sheet set, your duvet cover and your extra pillowcases. You also save 20% when you build a bundle opposed to buying everything individually. So it just makes more sense to do it that way. I also love that Brooklinen is Oquitex certified. So these are tested for harmful substances and certified to meet the strict global safety criteria of the standard 100 by Oquitex. If you would like to try out Brooklinen for yourself, I highly recommend them. I do not think you'll be disappointed and you can actually get $20 off of any purchase over $100 with the link down below in my description box and code WILDFERN. Thank you so much to Brooklinen for sponsoring today's video. Okay, so I think that my next step is going to be in to install the grow light. Um, this is the Soltec Aspect Light. And I have this mount that I'm gonna be hanging it off of. So I need to get this on the wall because that's gonna kind of determine where everything else goes, like where all the plants go and everything. So let me get started on that. Okay, you guys, hello. It has been like an hour and a very stressful hour at that because I messed up this um, Pinocchio light mount. Ugh, I should have looked at the instructions on the website. Um, basically, I got one of the dowels stuck in here when it was not supposed to be in here yet because I wouldn't have been able to get the cord to run through the back here. So if you get this mount from Soltec, um, make sure that you don't put your dowel all the way in before your actual light is in here. Um, I had to try like, I'm not kidding, six or seven different things to get this sucker out of there and now it's all janky. So hopefully I'll be able to put it in. I don't even know. Oh yeah, I think it will go that way. So it should be fine. But oh my gosh, you guys, I was sweating because I thought that I ruined this. Um, hopefully it's gonna be fine. I'm going to attach it to the wall now, but yeah, oh my gosh. I honestly thought that this was not gonna come out, but crisis averted. I'm just confirming the instructions before I do this. Okay, so I've got a quarter inch drill bit on here and I'm just gonna go ahead. Drywall anchors.
that you like higher up here. So we do have the two moon downs left here, and one of them is going to go in the top hole, in the top of the view hanger. Okay, I really needed to take a moment after that <laughs> bracket situation. The thing tested me. Um, so I ate dinner, cleaned up and everything. It's a couple hours later. It is now dark out. Oh my goodness, it is a hot mess in here. I think I'm probably gonna finish this video tomorrow morning, but I do want to get the shelf up just so that is ready to go for us. So I'm gonna install the shelf. I already have it kind of marked out where I want to put it. I don't know if you can see. I wish there was a better spot to put the camera, but there really isn't. Oh yeah, you can see the painter's tape that I have there. So I'm gonna install the shelf. I've installed one of these shelves before. Like I said, for this one, it's the same. So it should go smoothly. Hello everybody, good morning. It is now the next day and we're carrying on. This room is a hot mess right now. Like there's tools, it's just, yeah. <laughs> we need to put it back together. But my objective right now is to finish this planty area. So you can see behind me, we have the monkey tail, also the rat tail is there as well. Those are the plants that I'm thinking I'm gonna put on this shelf. Um, so we'll see. I've got to play around with a little with it a little bit, but my objective right now is to sort out the cord. I think I'm going to clip it and then make it like kind of go around the shelf so it will look like it's going straight down. I'm gonna see if I can do that. And then I'm also going to put a um an outlet timer there so that this will automatically turn on and off. And then we'll put the plants there and see how it's looking. And if you're wondering why I put it, put the shelf so off center, it's because I want to have probably the monkey tail right under there and either not plants here or plants that don't need as much light will go on the other side of the shelf. I'm undecided. Um, but the way that the light is, it's also casting light like down into the corner. So I'm thinking of moving a philodendron in here, maybe my philodendron um, tortum because I've been looking for a spot for that plant and it looked like the light was lighting up this area really well. Plus, it would be cool to just see it climb up and get taller since the light's pretty high up from the floor. So yeah, we'll see. I'm excited to play around and get some plants in there. Um, but first of all, like I said, I need to sort out the cord. Okay, I think that that looks straight enough. I've already had to tweeze two spikies out of my hand, so I'm gonna try to be careful. But yes, the monkey tail. She has been fasting from water since, oh gosh, I think October, and it is now February. You may have heard me talk about this whole 
overwintering cactus thing I've been trying to do in a couple of my other videos, but just give a little rundown. <clears throat> I always have trouble getting this to give nice growth in the winter. Oh my goodness, sorry, the shower is on, so I'm so sorry if you can hear that. <laughs> I live in the Pacific Northwest. It's very dark and gloomy. I have trouble getting this to consistently grow like the nice larger growth without going all spindly and like this in the winter. So I thought that I would try to get this to go dormant, but I screwed up. <laughs> I did it wrong because it was not getting any water, but it was still getting some light. And it was also, I think it was too warm because it's heated downstairs. So I just don't think it was the correct conditions for it to go dormant based on a lot of your comments um, that I've seen and that I appreciate. I really love when you guys give me tips and advice. I also got another comment the other day saying that this is a tropical cactus. So it's not ever going to go dormant or it's not meant to go dormant. Same with the rat tail. So I don't know if anybody knows, let me know if that's true or not. I was under the impression that this was a desert cactus or like a regular cactus, but maybe it's not. I don't know. Regardless, since it's just doing the thing that I didn't want it to do downstairs, I've decided to bring it up. Um, well, I literally just decided this on a whim yesterday when we started putting the light up. I was like, you know what? This would be the perfect spot for the monkey tail cactus. It can be spoiled under the Soltec light and hopefully it likes that. I'm gonna try it out. Maybe I'll put it outside again in the summer. Um, maybe I'll leave it under the grow light. Just It's just gonna depend on how it's doing. But since we're bringing this back upstairs and I'm going to be giving it like growing conditions again, we obviously have to start watering this again. So I figured I would take this to the shower and just kind of drench it through. Oh gosh, is that what I'm, can I just go from like no water for months to drenching? I don't know, I hope so. <laughs> but I figured that we would shower it off because it's, like has some spider webs and stuff on it and it just kind of needs to be sprayed off so let's go do that we're also going to do the same for the rat tail cactus i don't even know if i'm going to end up putting this on the shelf i'm kind of leaning towards just having the monkey tail up there as like kind of a just nice display focal point kind of plant for that light but um i think regardless i'm going to bring it upstairs and put it somewhere so i'm going to water this through as well it is like my life's mission to figure out this monkey tail cactus because I really want a nice, like long, uniform, fluffy, beautiful, healthy one. But it's just, uh, instead I have this just crazy chaotic one, which I feel like is maybe just symbolic of my life. But <laughs> regardless, I'm gonna keep trying to grow this. And I can also like, I have a lot of opportunities to kind of have different tries at it because I have had really good success at propagating this plant. So I'm definitely not afraid to take cuttings and start baby plants, but um, yeah, that's just kind of where I'm at with this plant. And I find it hard to find care tips and care information for people growing them um, in like the Pacific Northwest or in similar conditions to me. So yeah, it is a challenge plant for me, but it's also really rewarding to kind of figure it out, I guess. Okay, while those are draining, I was thinking that I could switch our nightstands, but now I'm kind of like, do I even need to do that? Like maybe we can just stay sleeping on our same sides and i can just leave everything how it is because i don't think he cares if there's more plants there but then also i kind of want to have this side and like okay i think i am going to swap them yeah let's try it and see how it looks it looks so cute already like i'm so happy with how this little setup is coming along Okay, look at the sun coming in here. This definitely needs to be my side. Okay, just had to change my battery because it died, but you know when you're in that phase of rearranging or cleaning or any project where it gets worse before it gets better? That is the current phase that we are in. <laughs> I 
It is such a mess in here. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm putting you back. Okay, I'm having a really hard time deciding how I want this to be arranged. Um, but I think this is my favorite so far with the Gloriosum on the cart in the corner. And then I can put the books on the um, two lower racks. And I also have a whole bookshelf um, on the other side of the room. Now the only thing I'm thinking is whether the monkey tail is going to look okay or whether it's going to come down too close to the Gloriosum. I'm not sure. So I'm going to go grab it from the shower and we're going to try it out. It actually looks so good. I almost had a heart attack because I thought my mic wasn't on, but this, I'm really happy with this. It looks even better than I thought it was going to. This is so cute. The only thing I'm kind of disappointed about is I thought I was finally gonna have a spot for my philodendron tortum, but I'm gonna have to keep searching for a spot for that plant because I don't think I'm gonna be putting it there anymore. The Gloriosum has taken over that corner. So now I have to decide whether I want to put more plants on the other side of this or whether I want to put non-plants, just something else, I don't know, books or something. Okay, I'm not quite done in here, but I am gonna take a little break. I have to eat and I also have to take Olive to a vet appointment. So I'm gonna finish this up um, probably after lunch and we'll wrap everything up. But so far, I am just so happy with how this is looking. I will admit I was getting a little bit stressed last night because I just wasn't sure how this was gonna turn out, but I feel like it's really come together. I'll just give you a little overview of what it's all looking like so far. Oh yeah, I also um, put back my asparagus fern there and I feel like it really just ties everything together. Hello everybody, I am back. 
all have had her vet appointment. They had to um, do some blood work. Why am I closing this? I don't know why I'm closing that door. <laughs> Anyways, we're back home and they actually um, just phoned with the results and her blood work is all good, so that's perfect. This is all in preparation for her um, yearly dental cleaning that is coming up within the next couple of weeks. Anyways, after the vet, we stopped at Michael's, which by the way, I love that Michael's is pet friendly. I always bring Olive in there with me. And um, I wanted to get a frame for something that I've been meaning to get a frame for and hang up since July. And it is this Sunflowers Van Gogh print that I got from the um, Beyond Van Gogh, the immersive experience thing. I went to that with my mom in the summer in July. You might remember because it was in one of my weekly vlogs if you look back on my vlog channel. But I got this print, of course, the sunflower one. I love it so much. I love sunflowers. And um, yeah, I just have not, it's just been sitting in a drawer. I hadn't had a chance to find a frame for it or anything. So I was like, you know what? This would be perfect in this little planty area. So I figured I would stop in. And yeah, I found this beautiful wooden frame and um, I had a 40% off coupon. So very perfect. So I think that the final touch for this area is going to be to hang this up. So I'm gonna do that right now. I ended up adding this little mushroom up here as well. This is actually a card that somebody sent to me and I love it so much. And the art is just so cute on it. So I figured that it would suit this little space as well. And I'm so happy with how these look. Bring you in a little bit closer, but so, so cute. It's exactly the vibes that I wanted. Still have to sort out that bookshelf one of these days. And I also need to decide if I'm moving my Begonia Thurstonii somewhere. But for now, I'm just gonna leave her there. I mean, it would be like, my boyfriend's side now literally has like nothing over there except for that plant and this really cute mirror but i actually might move that mirror as well <laughs> his little area is just gonna be so plain yeah lots of stuff to still be done but that's gonna be for another day and probably honestly stuff that's gonna be more so on my vlog channel i just wanted to include this new planty setup with the grow light and the shelf and everything um in this video i also need to sort out my kind of desk area a little bit more as well i want to put art up i want this to be like filled with art under here um and i also need like some organizational stuff because everything's just kind of sitting on my desk and yeah anyways like i said those types of things will probably be on the vlog channel so make sure to subscribe there if you um are not and if you're interested in that type of stuff i'm gonna show one more overview of just how everything turned out but so far i'm just so happy with how this came together like i i mean i tend to be hard on myself with thinking like you know we moved in eight months ago now and the place isn't as put together as i would like it but i feel like i'm you know it's slow progress but i'm making progress and i set up this whole area today mostly using stuff that i already had anyways let's take a look at how it all looks together okay so here is the overview of the room when you come in Oh my gosh, it's actually starting to really come together and really look nice and cozy. I love the vibes right now. This is definitely the best that it's ever looked in here. The plant wall is going crazy these days. Desk still a work in progress, like I said, but that will come together in due time. So for the main part of the room, of course, we have our new bed set from Brooklinen. Thank you so much again to Brooklinen for partnering with me on today's video. This bed set is exactly what I was hoping for and it really does just tie everything together. Oh my gosh, look how planty it looks behind me now. That's so fun. I was just gonna say, don't forget to check out Brooklinen. They'll be linked in the description box and you can get $20 off of your purchase of over $100. And let me know if you do because I would love to know which bed set you picked. And then our planty area over here. Oh my gosh, I honestly, like it, I'm just so impressed. It really came together. It really came together. I love the um, grow light mount. I think that that looks so good. And I thought that I wasn't gonna be happy with this much black, but I actually like it. Like it doesn't look too overpowering or anything. It just kind of makes the plant stand out more, which is nice. 
Really curious to see the, how this monkey tail is gonna do. I will keep y'all updated. It's getting a lot of light, so hopefully that will be good enough for it. Also move my Cebu Blue Pothos over here as well, so it can kind of, um, you know, benefit from some light on the lower part of it. This just looks so cute and cozy. Everything that I hoped for. Can't wait to crawl into here, my new side of the bed. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Can't wait to crawl in and read my book tonight though. This is what I'm currently reading, by the way. And I can't wait to see how it continues to evolve. So yeah, if you have any decor ideas, like I have tons of empty wall and stuff. If you have any ideas, please leave me a comment. All right, so that is going to be it for today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed coming along with me. Like I said, I'm so, so thrilled with how it turned out. Let me know what y'all think. Leave me a comment down below. I would love to chat with you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.